Hello and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Health. Today is Meatless Eatless Mental Mushroom Mondays, and this week we will be discussing the upside down, the interesting, the bizarre. Here's one the laryngeal nerve in all mammals dips down underneath the aorta that doesn't, it doesn't make. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, it's, uh, today was my Father's Day surprise. We have to go at the trampoline, like, not store, it's this place that's filled with floors and walls of trampolines, and we were just jumping and jumping and jumping, and woo, my body hurts, I probably knocked out some clots all over my little, my curves in my corners, so I took an aspirin. I, I did a, a flip, I'm so proud of myself. But the laryngeal nerve, even in giraffes, goes down from their, um, pharyngeal area underneath the aorta and back up, which is, what, seven feet? It's bizarre. There's no reason for it to go that far, but it does in all mammals. It's a fascinating little upside down. Here's one. I got to extubate a patient on Saturday night, my first night back to the hospital in two weeks, and it was kind of weird because he wasn't talking afterwards. He'd had a couple of strokes, small ones according to his wife, in May, and when we pulled this tube that's breathing for him, he was breathing on his own, but you could tell, he, he said his name, that's about it, but you could tell that he knew that there wasn't enough strength for him to keep his airway open long enough to pass air over his larynx to say something. He was just bare minimum of what we call protecting his airway, which is the key. It's the top of the ACLS algorithm, the ICU um, prioritization, the airway, breathing, circulation, debility, evolution, or exposure, and, and food, family, shit like that. That's at the bottom of the list. We do start two beats pretty quickly on a lot of patients, but that's just to keep nutrition up, and it is part of the algorithm. But airways at the top because especially in big people there's a use it or lose it there's no biological free lunch so when you overeat and you eat constantly your esophagus and your gastrointestinal tract is the tract is the strongest it's the most involved and utilized lumen so your lung space is not that strong and this is bad when you've got hypertension diabetes and you've worked a couple strokes up now your kidneys are shutting down, and, oh, man, who knows how it'll go, but it was so great to get that out of him, because he'd had a plug, which is terrifying, because there's this, I'll show it tomorrow, it's an ET tube, an endotracheal tube that has a small 7 to 8 uh, millimeter lumen, which a lumen is just a space, like a straw which is basically just a big straw we're breathing through and you can plug it off with just you know regular old phlegm from your lungs and it can harden because you're being diuresed given medications that pull fluid faster out of your body which is supposed to help you breathe to, uh, unfortunately it'll dry you out to the point of clogging up your little straws we're keeping you breathing so they stick another tube it's just tube after tube after tube. So on this episode of Meatless Eatless Mental Mushroom Monday, I would like to encourage you to have something that is green for your dinner if you haven't already eaten tonight or tomorrow, any day of the week. Just give it a shot because we are made of little corners and the problem is when we go through stress, if we don't practice it daily, these little corners have dust, basically. Little deposits of dust and fat and nasty conglomerations of calcium that when busted out will go to our heart, head, heart, lungs, legs, and cause damage, permanent damage. And all you gotta do, take deep breaths, practice deep breathing, a little exercise, and try once a week to go meatless eatless maybe even on a mental mushroom monday thank you all for listening i will see you tomorrow
hopefully, I won't be throwing one of them trampoline claps.